Welcome. In front of me is a TCL Tab 10S, and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of this tablet. So when you boot it up for the first time, you should be presented with the screen that you can see right here. And all you need to do is just find your desired language right over here. Now for me, it already selected the correct one, so that's what I'm going to be sticking with. Now, moving on to the next page, you can insert a uh, SIM and SD card. Now, this is strictly here so you can connect to Google account. And you have two different ways of going about it. So you can do it through a SIM card or you can do it also through just connecting to Wi-Fi. Now, don't worry, you can just skip both of them if you don't want to connect to anything, which is what I will be doing. But by doing so, uh, number one, date and time won't be set automatically and obviously Google account will not show up because it, it, there is no internet connection at all. So there is the date and time. Now you can fix it up if you want to, if you decided to skip both of them. But if you're planning to connect to network later on uh, down the line, then you can just leave it as it is. And once you connect to it, it will automatically fix up the into the correct time and date. Now from here, we have some Google services. So we have three different ones. We have location scanning and sending a user and diagnostic data. So you can read exactly what each one of them is if you Want, you can keep them on. If you don't want them, you can disable all of them. Now, I'm going to disable the user diagnostic data by sharing because I don't want it. And then we can just scroll down, go to the next page by selecting accept. And this automatically prompts us to set up a face unlock, which is kind of weird. Uh, if you want to, you can do so by selecting next, but because face unlock also requires uh, some other means of unlocking your device, that'd be pin, pattern, or password, it will first prompt you to set that up before you can actually add your face. And if you choose to skip this, it will tell you to set up a screen lock instead. Now, automatically it opts into a pin for digit pin, but you can scroll down and you have also uh, other options by tapping right here, screen lock options. So you have also pattern and password as an option. I'll be using pattern. Next thing we have is the home screen style. So we have two different ones. We have home and uh, door screen, meaning just an app drawer, like a typical Android device is. Or you can have all the apps smack in the middle of your home screen, kind of like an iPhone would was, I guess, back in the day. So choose whichever one you prefer more. I will be sticking with the default uh, app drawer. Then moving on to the next page, we have two different looks for it, for the lock screen. So we have the TCL uh, specific one, which it does give you kind of how it looks like. It's a little bit animated, has a little bit of flair to it. And then here we have the typical Android one that you might be used to on majority of the tablets that you would normally see. Choose whichever one you want and go to next, which completes the setup. No, actually it doesn't. It gives us the last thing, which is privacy policy. So you can tap right here and also terms of service. You can tap on each one of those blue texts to actually read what you will be agreeing to, as you can see. And from there, select I agree. I don't have some joint ECL user experience, no thanks. And this will then bring us to the home screen with the device fully set up. So there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.